All right, today started out with clouds and we had some periods of showers from late morning, mid morning, late morning to near lunchtime. And then the sun came out and we had a nice finish to the day and temperatures responded nicely with the sun coming back out as well, getting back up into the low 70s. We're sitting on 58 right now. South southwest breeze is very gentle at 5. 52 was the low this morning. I think we'll go a little below that tonight. Two one hundredths of an inch of rain fell out there with those showers. We didn't have any really cold numbers this morning like we did yesterday. Remember yesterday we had low to mid thirties in parts of the Piedmont, upper thirties in the cities. This morning was a little bit milder and tonight's going to be similar, a little bit cooler, but nothing like the night before last. Out there right now, upper fifties out there for most of us. 58 in Greensboro, 57 in uh, High Point. A little warmer in Winston, but a little bit cooler in Lexington with 54, 55 in Burlington, 54. For those of you watching from Asheboro, we got a 52 in Madison. We got 56 in Pilot Mountain and 55 degrees in the Wilkesboro's. Satellite radar shows everything's pretty quiet now for us. There's been a little bit of activity in the north. We had some activity earlier today in part of Rockingham County and then another shower this evening so over Caswell and into Person County. And then you see some activity down to our south, but really no trouble that'll keep you awake tonight. On the weather map, the front is causing that is moving away. High pressure builds in for tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day. Temperatures still won't really jump up as high as you might want, but nonetheless, it'll be pretty good. Good. And then you see the next front out to the west, and as all that comes east, it goes to maybe upstate South Carolina, but more than likely falls apart before it ever gets here into the Piedmont. Let's look at that up close. We'll start with tomorrow afternoon. Temperature is going to be near 70 with plenty of sunshine outside, and then you can see that moisture coming in closer. This is Friday morning, and by Friday afternoon, it's down south, but nothing really materializing over us. Now, as we skip on down into the weekend, Looks quiet Saturday, but notice all the clouds. We do think it's going to be mostly cloudy. Then as we go into Sunday, notice all the sun. The sun's out and the temperatures are heading back up close to 80. And then what we've seen every day this week is this wall of water right there coming across the country. That's with the next front that is going to give us our next chance for showers. But as impressive as that looks, you know what it's got to do. It's got to come across our mountains. What happens when it comes across our mountains? We'll see for yourself. It's a little bit, but not as much, and it starts to fall apart here in North Carolina. So we're not looking for that much from it. And then Wednesday, we're back to a lot of sunshine. Our beaches are great, looking gorgeous tomorrow, 74, 71 degrees on Friday. Our, our mountain areas are looking pretty good tomorrow, 63. And then we got a small chance for a shower, unlikely, only 20% chance, but we will see a lot of clouds and 57. Piedmont forecast for overnight, 48. And then tomorrow we look for a high temperature at 71 and mostly sunny. Your extended forecast, you see 69 with more clouds on Friday, mostly cloudy Saturday, but then partly cloudy, which technically is more sunshine and a high of 79. And then a lot of sunshine Monday and 83. And then there's that front coming through Tuesday with a 30% chance of a shower, then dry weather behind it on Wednesday. So we've got a few days at or in the 80s. And then as we continue, we got a couple more. But then we barely shut it down and we bring it down to 79. So it might hit 80s those days too. Chances of showers 25, 30% and lows at night in the 50s. Three degree guarantee. Tonight's low 48 degrees. My guarantee for today was for a low of 51 and we have 52.